Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And this is not your first time. Thank you so much for coming back. I know it has been a while, yes. But this video is explaining everything. And today, we are going to be getting ready together for my white coat ceremony. Yes, your girl in four years <laughs> is gonna be a physician. I am actually in dental school right now, which explains the huge la uh, lapse, lasp, lapse in video and content being put out. This is a very, very special moment for me, for my family as well. For my friends and I really want to share this moment with you guys as well YouTube has been a huge part of my journey especially my year off I spent a lot of time on here creating content sharing with you guys so I want to share this special moment with you guys as well and before I continue on if anybody is interested in dentistry or has any questions about you know going into dental school or you know anything of that nature honestly I'm I'm opening up you know the floor I definitely don't know everything there is to know believe me but as much as I can I would love to help people out and I'm not saying necessarily I'm trying to become somebody's mentor out here but if you have questions and you want to ask me questions definitely go ahead 100% let's get started we're sticking with stuff that we know that's the safest bet whenever you have like an event to go to always stick to what you know don't Mm, it's not the time to start, you know, experimenting. So we are going to be using the YSL Touche Club Blur Primer. This is one of my favorite primers. I want to look flawless. I want to look... What's going on here? Why are you giving out on me? There's definitely still a lot in there, but like, it's been laying sideways for a bit. So Okay, so we finally have her out. Oh, shit. Plop this onto my face. So... Today is white coat. It's officially here. It's a moment I've been waiting for for a very long time. I'll talk about my absence from YouTube in the last like eight months. So everything was rolling around real, real good in December of 2017. You know, we were pumping out that content, girl, let me tell you. But December 26th, 2017, I decided I was going to apply to dental school. I made the decision very late, very, very late in the application cycle. But that's when you know something is just for you because everything still, it, everything worked out. And I'm very, very thankful for that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and we've primed, I've primed my face. I am now going to, actually I'm gonna do a, a bit of color correcting. I'm using the coral shade in the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills contour cream kit this is the deep kit I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my finger oh she real coral I forgot how bright this shade was god damn okay anyways yes so I was late in the application cycle but I already knew if I was gonna do this there was only one place in the world I was gonna be going to <laughs> And that's Howard University. Um, I went to Howard for undergrad. Best decision I could have possibly made for myself. I think I've spoken about this before. Um, I needed to be at an HBCU. I had spent, and not that there's anything wrong with going to like predominantly white institutions or, you know, but for myself personally, I needed to be at a historically black college or university or just be surrounded by people who looked more like me at that particular point in time because um, I think in a lot of ways I didn't like myself I've spoken I think I've spoken about this before um, in a lot of ways I didn't like myself or I didn't appreciate the individual I was my heritage my background and Howard University was a huge turning point for me in that way. And the 
communal aspect, the familial aspect of Howard University was something I knew I wanted continuing my education or furthering my education. So Howard was, for me, the only option for going to dental school. There's no other way. No other way. And, I mean, some stats, like with Howard... Um, or HBCUs in general, 70% of black dentists come from HBCUs, are produced by HBCUs, are trained by HBCUs. 70%. That's a lot. That's a huge amount. That's a huge amount. But that says a lot about, you know, historically black colleges and universities. So yes, I'm at Howard. (laughs) Again, (laughs) round two. I'm going to be using two foundations name. I'm using the Mark Jacobs Shameless Youthful 24 Hour Foundation um, because it works very, very well with the YSL uh, Touche Color Blur Primer. But I think I'm also going to use a little bit of uh, Tiramisu from this is Jackie Ina's shade extension for the Too Faced Born This Way foundation range. This here is the Too Faced Born This Way, and this here is the Shameless Youthful. Love the how this is like medium buildable and so comfortable, and I love the full coverage uh, factor of this one. But I'll mix them together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this onto my face. I mean, I feel like I should have used a brush, but this is what I'm already holding, so we're gonna go ahead with this. Um, but I'll just tell you guys a little bit about the process, I guess. So, I mean, with applying to dental school, you have to obviously, well, you have to write a professional, ex- not a, is it a professional, what do you call it? An entry examination. So for medical school, you have the MCAT. For dental school, you have the DAT. Some people say DAT, some people say DAT, I say DAT. DAT is about four and a half hours long. There's a whole nother section called perceptual ability. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. You guys just have to see it for yourself to understand what I'm talking about when I say perceptual ability. And there's 90 questions and you have 60 minutes. That, for me, was definitely the hardest. The hard, Like, everything, I mean, everything else was reasonably difficult. I'm not going to lie, that was hard. But it's, it obviously makes sense because if you think about dentistry, dentists, yes, there were, were physicians, but a lot of it is like art, okay? So you have to be able to perceive images, rotate them. If you're given an x-ray of a patient's teeth, you have to know which tooth it is. So it makes sense why that is on the exam. Um, but yeah, I wrote my exam in Feb- I think February. I wrote my exam in February, had my interview in March, got accepted in March. I accepted their acceptance in March. <laughs> the reason why it was so difficult to upload and keep up with my YouTube channel was because I was studying for this exam, but at the same time, I was working full time. So I'm studying, I'm working full time. I just couldn't make time to film, to edit. Like, I just, I unfortunately, it had to take a back burner at that point in time. I'm trying to decide which concealer I want to use. It's between Toffee from the Born This Way multi sculpting concealer line and Toast from the LA Girl Pro concealer line. Y'all know I love me some LA Girl Pro concealer, let me tell you. And I felt really guilty. And I didn't want to like say it yet to you guys. I don't want to say I was, I didn't want to jinx myself. Um, but I just, you know. I just didn't want to talk about about the application process and stuff yet because YouTube is like an escape from all that stuff I'll be honest you know I love coming on YouTube and knowing that I'm here I'm talking about makeup I'm talking about you know bringing positivity and growing your hair and all that other fun stuff but one thing I realized though is I kind of regret it a little bit and I was talking about this the other day on Instagram Um, by the way if you don't follow me on Instagram you should because Instagram usually finds out about most things before 
YouTube because everybody is so multifaceted. Let me just say this first. Everybody is so multifaceted. Everybody has so many people have different interests you know you might be interested in beauty but you might also be in the tech industry you might be interested in beauty you might be in medicine you might be interested in hair you might be a nurse a doctor doesn't matter what but people are multifaceted um and i think it's okay to share those different aspects of yourself and that's something i want to be open and willing to do a little more i seriously i've thought so hard about this i know one black uh dentist i know many black doctors male and female in my personal life i didn't know any black female dentists none like none whatsoever even as black female dentists we are a minority within the dental community i'm not even gonna lie we are at the bottom of the barrel in terms of numbers okay um and I want that to change. I may do a series on here with a few of my colleagues. I want I want people to hear the different stories because no matter what, and I think this is something that I, like I struggled with a lot. No matter where you come from, what the different, what your story was to get to this point. The point is that you got to this point. You know, you got into dental school, and everybody has a different story. I have classmates who had whole businesses businesses and they sold them to get to to come to dental school i have two classmates who are moms and when i say moms i'm talking three kids there are many moms in my like i have there are many many of my classmates are, are mothers but two there's two classmates with three kids i got no excuse and neither do you trust me you can do it so i want to I think I, I want to share this aspect of my journey with you guys more now too. So, so I am now using the shade Rich Earth from the ABH Contour Palette. I haven't used this in a while, but I thought today would be a good day. I don't know why. I think in the last video I uploaded, I was talking about how I had moved. Um... This is like my first real apartment apartment, um, which is cool. It's cool for now. Um, I like my classes. It's a lot. I'm not going to lie. Things have gotten even busier. This is the busiest I've ever been in my life, like ever. But I like it. I really like being back in school. This is definitely what I wanted. Um, so pe lots of people do different things during their year off. Um, I chose to, to work. Um, and I worked at a nonprofit organization here in DC, and it was nice. Um, I definitely learned a lot. We're gonna reverse contour today because why not? Let's just be, uh, we've already started being extra. Let's might as well just take it all the way there. I'm having a lot of fun doing this right now. I have not worn makeup in like mm, six weeks seven weeks maybe no 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 more like six weeks it's been six weeks so today we are going to be going in with Patrick's powder as our powder and we're gonna do a little bit of baking here today just a little bit not too much we're not gonna get too crazy okay too late <laughs> But what's going on with y'all? Should we talk about all the drama going on in the beauty community right now? I think it's definitely, it's it's sad. Individuals can kind of forget why it is they start doing something or losing perspective. That's one of the saddest things that can ever happen. I feel with um, a profession, because I think, you know, a lot of people are doing, you, you know, are on YouTube as, their actual careers these days you know they're influencers um but one of the hardest things whether it's on youtube or off youtube is losing perspective like why it is you first started to do something in the first place and having your priorities start getting all mixed up um 
And that's a hard thing, but how does one recover from something like that? Things that aren't supposed to be as important to them are what they are taking as the most important aspects of a particular journey. I was really nervous. It's so funny that the one thing I was actually really nervous about that I was not going to be able to get my eyebrows down perfectly. I'm actually still very nervous right now because I have not done this in a while. What do I miss about not being in school? Uh, quite frankly, I, I think the only thing really would be time to do this, like sitting down and being able to do this. That's really the only thing. Everything else, I mean, working, do I miss working? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go and coat my brows now. I don't think we did too bad a job with these brows today. I had actually bought a dress for my white coat ceremony. Um, I bought this beautiful black dress, went to Nordstrom Rack one of my classmates this was before school started actually but then i realized hmm do i really want to wear a black dress to my white coat ceremony i started thinking and thinking and thinking and i realized no i don't want to wear a black dress to my white coat ceremony i want to wear a pop of color um one thing i did what one thing i have noticed is that the classes i have my friends who are also in medical school like I'm talking at Howard, I don't know how it is at other people's schools or at other schools, but we have the same classes. We have the same professors, same class. Well, they have them in units, but it's the same topics being taught. We have the same professors, same, literally same PowerPoints. I'm not gonna lie about that either. Uh, <laughs> I think what's really interesting about dentistry is you are choosing to specialize in one area of the body from the jump. Like from the get-go, you're choosing, okay, I'm going to become a dentist and I'm going to be focusing, you know, in the oral region. As time goes on, like for example, if you decide to become an oral maxillofacial surgeon or something, you know, you could do plastics on the face because you got to learn all the muscles and stuff in the face, but it's cool. Oof, she's not looking too bad. Hello, brow come through brow and to finish off we are gonna go in with some Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel let me tell you guys how bad this is like how much time we really didn't have to do any of this thing I'm first I'm gonna be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer I have this little sample pack here so I'm just gonna use it So, let me just tell y'all, let's let's talk about how bad this is. So, I have the complete ColourPop Time Shayla co collection, right? Bought the entire collection. Couldn't do a review on it. <laughs> there was no time. I have the I Love Sarahi Times uh, Dose of Colors collection sitting right on the ground right there. Couldn't do a review on it. I also have the NYX Foundations couldn't do a review on that either no time like there's just no time anymore so i think i may have to switch from reviews like only the only time i think i'll do reviews now is if it's something that like i'm i just gotta tell y'all about not just like a, a product that's like hitting the scene if that makes sense so i want to use i want to use some of the palettes i have it that i have that i haven't even you know played with for example the Shayla Times ColourPop um, Perception Palette. I'm, I also want to play a bit with the I Love Sarahi Times Dose of Colors Palette. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Um, and I haven't touched it. <laughs> and it makes me sad. But we're going to use these today. Let's start with the shade Culture, right, which is right here. And I'm just going to start... I'm now gonna go in with this orange shade down here, thick. And I'm gonna work that in as well. Then I'm gonna go into the shade 
poquito más. I hope that's the shade. I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to go into the shade here a poquito más to kind of just deepen it up a little bit. So we're working from light to dark. Uh, I'm going to... Ooh, this is really pretty, actually. I'm going to... I'm packing this... Oh, this is a really nice shade. So for today, I didn't want to do anything crazy. But I wanted some shimmer, but I didn't want gold. So I think I'm, I'm going to do like an olive. Next, I'm going to go into the ABH palette. And I'm going to use the shade Oud. As well as this brush right here. To take this really deep plummy shade. It's like a plummy brown. Kind of working it into the crease. I'm slightly dragging that onto my lower lash line as well. Just connecting the two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on with this shade IE first from Shayla's palette. Let me use my finger. This is a really nice olive shade. We can do olive. Olive is all right. Very nice. Well, that's a really that's a pretty shade. And it applies well with both your finger and a brush, which is very, very nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the shade uh, Harpoon which is this really pretty olive but it's more metallic Ooh, it just intense these two together are really beautiful it intensifies the uh, the olive shade I've done a look like this I really like olive smoky eyes because they're they're out there but they're still like semi-appropriate. You know what I mean? Let me finish up the eyes and then we'll come back. All right, we're back with the eyes done. Let's just wipe off some of this powder. Now we're going to bronze up our face. I love this Real Techniques brush for this. It's supposed to be a blush brush, but it's so good at getting around the corners of your face okay Oof. then I'm gonna add some blush I'm gonna be using max raisin ooh, ooh, ooh. I think the biggest thing I'm nervous about for today is walking across the stage in my heels they're not too high and I've worn these shoes a gazillion times i'm just nervous because sometimes it's what makes people fall isn't necessarily that they can't walk in heels but that the surface is weird and a blush topper i'm going to be using uh, milani's luminoso love this on the apples of my cheek it just adds look at the difference bare luminoso bare luminoso oh i love this stuff Damn, this is a full beat down. <laughs> I hope my classmates recognize me today. We're gonna be using today Artist Couture's Le Bronze Highlighter. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> it looks so good. I'm just gonna quickly line my lips. I'm gonna be going in with Max Velvet Teddy. Okay. I'm gonna to top that with the NYX Mega Shine Gloss in beige. It isn't really a beige shade, but they call it beige. Because this is looking very pink, I want it a little more neutral. I'm gonna add it on the Mama Star Lip Gloss by Mac times Patrick Star. Mmm. As Shayla would say, this is a season 10 beat, honey. Season 10. Ooh, child. Mmm. That looks so good. I'm gonna put my dress on. Ooh, these look cute. I'm gonna put my dress on and then finish this off. Whew. Season 10 beat, honey. Oh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. 
Thank you so very much for watching this video and for coming along this journey with me. I sincerely appreciate it. I look forward to sharing more of these moments with you guys here on YouTube. I just want to say once again, if you have any questions about dental school, dental application process, like I said before, I don't know everything, but what I do know I am willing to share and whatever other resources I can find, I am willing to share if you are interested. I wish you guys all the best, you know, in this new this new school year to everyone that is back in school um, and everyone hoping to get back in school. Good luck with your applications. Good luck with your exams. Uh, you can do it. Honestly, you can do it. You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that this is for you and this is the path you are choosing to take. With that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.